Welcome everyone to today's update. You may have already seen yesterday's Lenovo AMD ThinkPad A485 video with the unboxing and first look. If not, you may want to see that first. I just got the OK to open up the machine and take a look on the components. I thought what better way to start the day going forward with it. Currently slightly snapped in at the sides. Maybe otherwise a good idea to consult the service manual. And voila, the inside of the machine. So what did we got here? Here of course was a removable battery. And here's the built-in one that I mentioned yesterday already. Here's a heat pipe to the fan. And here certainly is the APU, the Ryzen with Vega graphics. I think this is a storage bay. Maybe even space for a regular 2.5 inch serial ATA SSD or rotating storage. Speakers, obviously. Here is a wireless module. And this M2 slot is actually free, so it should be possible to use an SSD there. M2 SSD, need to check if NVMe or serial ATA, I would hope for NVMe. And what is interesting is that this memory slot is empty. So yesterday I said already eight gigabyte that are here. So it is actually theoretically possible that by installing a second memory module you get slightly improved performance due to higher memory bandwidth on the dual channel memory with interleaving and such. Here's the NVRAM battery. And also what I did not realize yesterday is that this has LTE. So here is the modem. Or oh, it's actually going to this M2 slot actually now that I think about it. But yeah, that's about it. The usual serviceable Lenovo ThinkPad quality, where you can get in also the battery here is just screwed in. So to service the battery in some years, you can just go in here without any glue and adhesive. Yeah, nice little machine. Upgrade friendly also here for memory wise. For example, if you order just an entry level model now and install 32 gigabytes later in a year or two. So let's put things back together and use it a bit more. I don't think I have a spare DDR4 memory module, but maybe I'm even going ahead and order one just to see if that makes a performance difference. With this user serviceable machines, I can just use it in the future then for the next laptop purchases, if I actually buy this or another one. <laughs> 